Today, I've built a drone that I'm excited to show you guys. Check this out, guys. Ooh. The old driblet. The driblet. But set up with the avatar. Oh. Look at that. It's the avatar driblet. We were able to cram in the new walk snail video transmitter with the micro camera up front. So like I had this idea, I designed the driblet years ago around analog, and I pretty much just stopped flying it when I switched to digital, when DJI came out. And then I always wanted to fly it again, but I just could never fit a Vista in there. So when this happened, I was thinking maybe I could make it work decased, but it ended up just fitting with the heat oh, sinks nice. and everything. The heat sinks are on there, man. What's the smallest Avatar thing you've flown so far? Just a five inch Just all the five inch stuff? Yeah, yeah, so I haven't flown anything this size and it looks really good. The problem, like you said, was, you know, micro quads don't have an interest to in me because you can't really fit the digital systems. Even though, like, the way that they bolt on can be pretty small, like 2020, they're just tall, right? It doesn't really fit in anything. Yeah, I used to does. love flying micros. And then when yeah. I switched to digital, I was like, I guess I don't fly micros anymore. I just <laughs> didn't do it. I just gave it up. <laughs> Tiny whoops, all that fun stuff. I just said goodbye. So did this fit in there with the screws because it's 25 by 25 or what is the driblet? So a while back I came out with a tweak to the driblet that I called the driblet S where in addition to the 20 by 20 holes that it's already had I added these holes in the front and back here and what that allowed you to do is bolt in this little arrow shape that gave you more bolts over here and this is a diamond 25 by 25 pattern. So I took the Beta FPV toothpick board, mm -hmm. which is 25 by 25, yep. put that in there, which is really cool. It has plugs on it, and we got these motors made with plugs on it. Ooh. So plug and play motors. Oh, nice. And then we stacked the Avatar right on top because it's also 25 by 25. I'm a big fan of pluggable motors. This whole thing is yeah. plug and play. Plug the whole motors, thing is plug and play. This whole quad is plug and play, and okay. it's gonna be available at Rotoride. I think Rotoride's new motto should be, we hate soldering. We, yeah, right. <laughs> the plug and play version will probably be on pre-order because we're having the motors made with the plugs. But if you do want to solder, that'll be available sooner. So we're out here at the FPV park here in Portland, flying this amazing area that is custom built for five inch quads, having an absolute blast. You guys will see that in some other episodes. We're having a great time out here. A lot of people have seen the FPV park, but they yeah. haven't seen other places on the property. One of them is an airsoft course. It's got a lot of barrels and pallets and things that we can kind of zip through. Oh, nice. A little bit more confined space. Uh, especially with all these trees back here that are way more tight. I don't know what the camera's angle says. It's probably pretty low for it you. Low. It's like this thing flies really smooth. It's so it cute. Cool. It flies really good, dude. Right? <laughs> what did he do? What is this on? Betaflight 4.3? Whoa, rates. Yeah, 4.3. Stock rates. Oh. Perfect. Why would you do that? What? Why would you use Betaflight stock rates? I think they're fine. What do you want? You want faster rates? No. It's I want... Insane. I'm not complaining. Uh, oh, Bartle's uh, complaining. Uh, he hasn't even tried it yet. Do you fly stop complaining. Rates? It's good. <laughs> do you stop fly stock stop rates? complaining. You can't fly stock rates. Fly better then. Oh, learn man, to, look at this fly. kid's attitude now. What have you done to him? <laughs> I'm flying the driblet as I, I take over Drew's personality when I take the pilot thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, can you hit it? Uh, Woo! I it. Okay, 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 okay. Fly through my leg. How are you? Oh. It's fine. All right, so Bubba, we only have a couple sets of props, so what I need you to do is trippy spin that. Does it pass the Wait, let, let me, uh, your, your camera angle's at like zero. Uh, you want more? Just give me 15. All right, ready? Here, I'm gonna throw you into it. You gotta go right for it, ready? No. I'm arming. Three, Arm. two, one, go. Trippy spin. boy. Oh, that was so sick. Absolutely not. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh is that right yeah. there? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I didn't know I'm right here. Uh, if you're gonna if cheat, you, actually, that was so cool. Third party, third, third party. There we go. You doing it over there? Yeah. Where, where over there. Oh. Woo! Look at him. Dirt breaker! Get the dirt breaker! Hey, come back! Get him! <laughs> oh, video. What? How is the video? No, I'm good. The video's great, man. Ooh. It looks like I can look at that. There's no blockiness. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm at like 10.5. You're like you're, behind you're the like hill. You're like so far away, though. I'm yeah, you're behind the hill. 10.5, what? Where, three of? Well, yeah, where are we? Okay, oh, I see. 10.5 is I mean, 3.5, sorry. Yeah. Where are we? Right, oh. right, right. Dude, video. Dude, that's. Okay, this is new firmware, right? Okay, I didn't get to fly it much yesterday, but dude, that, that's a good leaf. <laughs> Alright, let me fly it now. <laughs> Go! Much nope. smoother for a micro than I'm used to, I will say. It doesn't have loads of power. Like, it feels heavy for its size. But what I will say is it's 
I'm not flying in the super high throttle range that I normally would do with a micro. Like I'm able to kind of hover around here at like 50, 60% throttle and I still have enough to like feel confident about punching over a gap last second. Yeah, I'd say you're right in the middle. You are right at right. 50. I will say like once you kind of get past like 70%, it doesn't feel like there's really much more. Like I feel like, you know, between 50 and 70, there's a big difference, but after 70% throttle, it's like, eh. It is very smooth, I will, I will say. This is definitely the smoothest micro drone of this size that I've flown. Yeah, it's definitely on the smaller size. Listen, if you're, if, this is just a reality of micro drones with our batteries right now. But like, I'm 45, 50 seconds into the flight, and I mean, I'm, the battery's just done. Like, obviously I got more flight time, but the power that I had at the beginning, it's just, it might sound like it's there, but it's really not. If I was really ripping this thing like I was comfortable, I would not have the power, and that's always gonna be my biggest complaint with micros until the batteries get better. But I will say, as I crash into the ground at uh, 3.2 volts, it does fly very well. It's very smooth. The reason I fly five inch quads, you know, predominantly is because I like the consistency of the power band. I like just the size, the way the quad slings. Um, but this is definitely probably one of the better micros that I've flown. I mean, I feel like you yeah. just need to fly something that's like necessitates the size. So. Yeah. That tower over there has a very tight space between the ladder and the base. Ooh, okay. I'm like, getting... Oh, you want to dive the inside? I want you to dive the inside. Oh, with like... Right, because you gotta... Like right, here. Like, yeah, like you have to go down the side of it, avoid this, avoid this, and like... pull out. I mean, I'm not gonna turn on a challenge. This is easy. Easy! Okay, yeah, no bad, but now chase the ladder all the way down. Yeah, easy. All the way. That's easy. So how do you come out of it? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so let me just try to like get behind it like in here. Okay, so let me... Like, if this were liftoff, it'd be possible. Yeah, I mean, someone would, would do it one time in liftoff. Liftoff from power. It'd just be luck, though. Ah, oh, man, okay. All right, it's possible. Terrible so far. I wonder if I could just like get it backwards through here. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, I mean, are you got kidding me? <laughs> I got two of these. <laughs> what? Trail. Go down the trail to the left over here. It would be more impressive cool. if you weren't going at like a walking pace. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, it's really weird to have such a good image, but be flying a micro. I used to fly a lot of micros on analog. And then once I switched to digital, I just didn't want to fly them anymore because you couldn't really fit digital in there and have a good experience. This flies really great. I am not going to try and do any proximity stuff because I will not succeed. I'm going to try and just rip a little bit through these trees fast and slow fast and smooth does it feel like a normal micro quad where like you have to be really high in the throttle range or no i would say i'm below or close to 50 percent yeah i'm going behind myself which is not a great idea when i have a patch antenna but it's hanging in there pretty good isn't it fine as long as you're directly behind yourself like doesn't the patch go the other way too like, it it's goes just not a little it's not as strong to the side gotcha. oh, i guess it's a crosshair so oh here's pass. a dirt dirt bike track i think it has to go through that big brain of his kind of want to do a little bit of a dive so i could uh try a... Woo! oh didn't hear any prop wash there dude it flies amazing <laughs> Hello, Toon master Hello, Toon master I definitely do think this is the best digital micro I've flown. The more I'm like si sitting on it. You don't let the sugar coat it. You just no. hate micros. I mean, I do, but <laughs> I won't sugarcoat that I hate micros, but I will be honest and say that it's, this is probably the best uh, digital micro I've flown. It doesn't have like the acceleration of a bigger quad, but you're never gonna get that out right. of it. Well, I don't want that when I'm flying yeah. a micro. Yeah. Like, it's fun to have small quads that feel like five inches, but also it's like, if you want the feel of a five inch, five, five inch. Five, five inch. So like micros are fun for tight areas. Like you could, yeah. like I've flown this around my house. So we're out barbecuing, having a good time, fruit around this like camp area. It's pretty fun. And then I kind of wandered out there. It's cool because you can still do all the dive gaps and stuff, but you can also go like into the branches. In, into stuff. the branches. Like, in there.
Oh, you look distinguished. <laughs> Hi, I am Bubby Toe today. <laughs> I've heard that if you take glasses and you shine a camera through the glasses and focus and then take the glasses away, that's what it looks like. All right, so are we focused? Yep. This is what I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 